is boiling. Lift me up. It's boiling. It's boiling. All right. Okay, we'll get you out of there. Come on out. Feminine woman? I don't know. Maybe it was a little bit of a... Uh, are you born in this country? No, I was not born here. You? I was born in the Azores. Matter of fact, I'm hoping to take my kids there and show them where I was born. A stinking mess. I can see uh, nappies and uh, filthy towel on the floor. You do more rooms, but you've got less, less staff. People. Yes, and a lot of the girls do stay over when they finish it. Faster. And longer. So. If it wasn't for them, Mark wouldn't be here today, so you have to remember that. After the camera crew poses as a reality show about people, most especially immigrants, pursuing the American dream, a boss goes undercover and we eventually get to meet the employee in charge. Unprovoked, the employee places the undercover boss who is investigating inside a boiling vat of water and then calls him a for not wanting to get burned. Ridiculous. Lift me up! Ah, ah. This water is boiling! Lift me up! It's boiling! It's boiling, all right. Okay, we'll get you out of there. Come on out. Feminine woman? I don't know. Maybe it was a little bit of a... You don't want to go? That water is boiling. But he didn't want to make a second effort. Might be better if I had Billy clean it up. You all right? No. You got to change out of bread. Huh? That isn't just unprofessional, it's also barbaric in my opinion. Then he claims that while he was attempting to improve his comfort level, his efforts were in vain since he refused to put up a second effort. They continue to the other sector of the market. Just keep in mind that he is also a terrible teacher. No, uh, you cut the wrong one. By cutting the wrong one, what you've done is double the work. He maybe wasn't a very patient trainer, <laughs> but uh, he obviously knows his job very well. While it's admirable that he is passionate about and loves his work, he hasn't demonstrated that he is a very effective team player. He works hard and that has to mean something. And after the undercover boss reveals himself, the employee says that he's being made a fool of. Uh, are you born in this country? No, I was not born here. I was born in the Azores. Matter of fact, I'm hoping to take my kids there and show them where I was born. We're both uh, foreigners in this country. People like him has made this company a great uh, success. I, I had a feeling back on my head. Specifically, are extraordinary. I feel I was big, made a fool of. Eye-opener for me, uh, John, I think we should modify our procedure. I really get the feeling and appreciation that you really care about raise your pay by $10,000 a year. Uh, you, you don't have to do that. I, I like to do it. I'm shocked. Bev's staff have just 50 minutes to clean a hotel with 72 rooms inside and out. And they aren't even paid well enough for the amount of work they do. The undercover boss is with her and he truly sees the big palooza of messes that they're asked to clean up. Small team of five have between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. to clean all 72 rooms. What a stink. Now it's one of those where to start. Pay head housekeeper Bev just over the minimum wage. What a stinking mess. I can see uh, nappies and uh, filthy towel on the floor. It shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes. I did do some cleaning at home. The undercover boss in his beautiful age is probably being stressed too much. He's bending over backwards, cleaning hot tubs and cleaning showers and touching dirty towels. Bev is pretty good at her job and she directs him even though it's supposed to be his job too. No, I didn't. It's bumping up because it's got a water splash mark on it. Well, you are meticulous. The hotel prioritizing its investment in the golf course. So you do more rooms, but you've got less, less staff. People. Yes, and a lot of the girls do stay over when they finish it faster and longer. Bev says they lay people off often because they don't get enough pay. But the bad thing is they're now just five and they're made to clean many rooms. They work faster, harder, and for longer hours. The undercover boss approaches the staff. It doesn't seem to be many of you. Some days when we're really busy, it would be mm. nice to have a few more that running behind. She is here sometimes. Has Bev got a family? She's got two boys and a girl, and she was in Great Ormond Street for a long time with him. Well, must have been pretty yeah. sick then, if you... Yeah. The girls were telling me about Great Ormond Street. My son went there for 16 years, yeah. To raise money for them, and I just give um, every month. You cast that aside as though it's... Um, Sort of ordinary. So. If it wasn't for them, Mark wouldn't be here today, so you have to remember that. Bev puts almost all her time into work because she's the chief of her staff. She's at work before them and leaves after them, and coupled with that, she's not been paid enough. I mean, this is just cruel. The undercover boss reveals himself and tells her how impressed he is. I'm impressed by you. For me, a big, big thank you. Check is for two and a half thousand pounds. It means a lot to us. Thank you. That means a great deal. 
just overwhelmed with it. No one's ever done anything like that before.